Sodium ion batteries are now also being used in um, small EVs and of course fast charging capabilities comes more to focus. Um, so what happens to sodium nickel manganese oxides during fast charging? Yeah, so basically um, we're investigating layered oxides because they are promising for a high um, capacity compared to um, other options that we have for the cathode. But um, basically they suffer from some uh, structural instability. So we do have um, a layered systems system where we store the, the um, sodium ions, but once, once we take them out, the, the layers go closer together. And basically if we do that a couple times, we see structural degradation. And especially now if we want to go to um, fast charging, that means um, in that structure, we do have different processes uh, taking place at the same time. So we have this uh, mechanical effect of the layers coming closer together um, when we extract the sodium, but we also have a, a diffusion um, process that happens at the same time. So what I think is, is quite interesting from an engineering point of view is an analogy with, um, like a, if you think of a, a park deck with cars, then we can go with a, um, in a very structured way of say, we, we empty one layer or one stage at a time, and then this whole phase transition proceeds through the material. But if we try to do this very fast, then this is exactly what happens if we try to charge and discharge these lead oxides at um, high rates. And we attract, uh, extract all the sodium from the sides and this layer um, collapses. And that basically means that in the middle, we trap some sodium and that we cannot use um, reversibly for um, our processes. So basically the idea is that we need to design our materials in a way that we still can access all the sodium that is stored in there to get a full access of the, of the capacity even at high uh, charging rates. Mm -hmm. And do we see this uh, effect also with other layered oxides? It is a very general feature, um, especially of, of sodium intercalation because it is a, a quite large ion. So generally once the sodium goes into a whole structure, um, it has the tendency that the structure needs to uh, expand or collapses once the sodium is out um, and that is that means on a material science uh, level we are talking about a phase transformation happening in the material because we change the crystal structure as the sodium goes in and out and that is very common to all sorts of different uh, layered oxides and now we can tweak this a little bit um, if we add uh, different transition metals we can change the actual phase transformation that is happening and maybe mitigate this effect a little bit but it's a, a very general uh, feature. Mm -hmm. But is it a good idea maybe to, to switch to other uh, materials like Prussian blue? Um, yeah, there, it is a trade-off. There are, um, basically we, can, we can, can take different crystal structures as a host structure for the sodium and it's a trade-off of it, it is very stable but then it's more heavy because we're providing more structure to insert the sodium. So if we're going for high capacity and that is what we want eventually, um, the, the layered oxides are very promising because we only have like this um, layered structure, but then of course we need to work with the effect that is, is, um, has volume change in it. So what we can do if we go back to this analogy of a, a parking deck is, of course the, the structure doesn't collapse there because we have pillars in between that hold a, a specific distance. And that is exactly what um, chemists are trying to do is insert other materials that sort of form these pillars and stabilize our layers and also um, yeah, other, other effects that, that lead to different phase transformations. So it's, it's not this super strong volume change, but we can stabilize the structure and then still use it at high charging and discharging rates.